Greetings of the day. Today, I will walk you through the installation of Chirp Stack on an Ubuntu server. Setting up Mosquito MQTT broker and connecting a racked LoRa gateway to Chirp Stack. By the end, you will be able to set up the basic connection between LoRa network server and LoRa gateway. The prerequisites are an Ubuntu server. I am using 22.04 LTS. A rack wireless gateway, I am using rack 7268p2. SSH access to the server and basic knowledge of Linux commands. I will show step-by-step -step installation of Chirp Stack version 4. In Chirp Stack version 3, we had to install three packages, Chirp Stack Network Server, Application Server, and Gateway Bridge. In Chirp Stack version 4, we have to install only the Gateway Bridge packet. Now, before we move ahead, make sure that your Ubuntu server is updated and upgraded. Since the server is perfectly fine, We are installing the dependencies that are required. The MQTT broker that we are using is Mosquito. Now we will go inside the Postgres SQL. We will first create the role. Then we will create the database. We will change to job stack. Create the extension, pg underscore drgm, and then exit the Postgres SQL. Now, these are some of the dependencies, apt transport, HTTPS, and directory manager that are important. We are going to set up the key for job stack repository. Add the repository to repository list. And then update it again. We are going to install the Chirp Stack Gateway Bridge. The dependencies have been installed, and now we are going to configure the Chirp Stack Gateway Bridge file. The file is Chirp Stack Gateway Bridge .toml. Now that we have installed the Chirp Stack Gateway Bridge, we will have to configure the Chirp Stack Gateway Bridge .toml file. Here inside the integration.mqtt section we will enter us 915 which is our region since we are in north america save it this is the link and you can always check this link in order to find out which uh, code you need to write here in order to uh, get the gateway working You can see the status. The job stack status is running. Now that we have configured the job stack server, we have to configure the Mosquito MQTT broker. We have to ensure that message communication between job stack and LoRa devices is happening. We are going to allow anonymous connections right now for testing purposes. We'll go inside this file and we are going to enter lines listener 1883 and allow anonymous to listener 1883 means that the port number 1883 will be used for listening to mqtt messages allow anonymous true means any anonymous source can uh, talk to the mosquito broker however if you want to make sure that the network is secure and you want to incorporate authentication you can always write allow anonymous false and set up your own authentication method i will be putting the link in the description for the mosquito configuration file where you can go and find out about yourself how to incorporate the authentication steps Since we have saved the file, we are going to restart the Mosquito to apply changes. To check if Mosquito is listening on port 1883, we will run this command. We can see that the PID and the Mosquito the process ID and the process name and it is listening. Now we are going to go to the server IP and then check if the job stack is working or not. This is the public IP of the job stack server and we will be finding if job stack is working or not on the port 8080. 
username is admin password in the beginning is also admin it says to change your password we can change the password from here I'm going to keep it admin because this is only for demo purposes right now now in order to add the gateway we will have to go to the gateways here we will add a gateway let us say it is test gateway here I have added the gateway ID and to make sure that the gateway is configured properly I will be adding the real device ID not a fake one so that I can show you properly how the gateway works we'll go to the dashboard we can see it is showing never seen however when I will go to the rack wireless gateway dashboard this gateway has been configured previously therefore I will only have to add the IP address of the chirp stack server the configuration process of rack wireless gateway is shown in another video I will add the link of that video in the description this is the rack wireless dashboard we will go to the locations network configuration this whole setup I have already discussed in another video I will provide the link for it once the changes have been applied we will go back to the job stack server and see if the gateway is active or not it will take some time to recognize you can see that the gateway is now online so we can even find out if the gateway is up or not via the MQTT broker logs this is the command for it and we can see from here that the gateway is up as the logs are showing now how to connect various devices to the gateway has been shown in another video and uh, I will provide the link of that video in the description as well I hope that you enjoyed this video and you got the information that you needed if there is anything you want to ask please ask in the comments thank you